Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another Animal Crossing themed video and this time we're going to be making Marty from the Sanrio collab, this Pom Pom Purin chair and the Pom Pom Purin table. So to make Marty we're going to start with some pale yellow clay, roll one piece into a ball for the head and take another piece and roll it into a triangle and then pull out two pieces for the legs and then cut off the narrow part at the top and then use a wire to secure the head and the body together. Next, roll a log of clay so that the tips are pointy for the arms and attach them onto the body and secure with a needle tool. And then it looks like this. And then take another small ball of the same color clay for the ears, roll it into a log and flatten it and do the same with a lighter cream color clay. Make an indent in the larger piece and insert the smaller piece inside and then cut the ears off and attach them to the head. Use a needle tool to secure them on. And then take another small ball of the same color clay and then place it on the back for the tail. Then using some brown clay for the hat, take a small ball and flatten it a little bit and then place it on the head. And then make a hole in the top for the stalk. Then take a very small piece of the same color clay, roll it out and cut the tip off and then place this into the hole that you just made and secure the pieces together. Then using a slightly lighter brown clay, take two small pieces and make them into flat ovals. And these are gonna be the eyebrows. Position them on the face like this. And then make two holes at the bottom to put in the wires that will attach it to the stand. Now we're gonna make the table. So take a slightly darker yellow, roll it and shape it into a cylinder that is narrower at the top. and then make four little legs and attach them on the bottom. And then flatten a log of clay for the ears and cut them off at an angle and then attach them on the table. And then use your finger and a needle tool to secure them on. Now we're gonna make the chair. So roll out a piece of yellow clay and brown clay to the same thickness. And then using your needle tool, mark out the design of the chair then using a blade, just cut off the excess like this. And then smooth the edges so it's nice and rounded. As you may notice in this video, it did take me a few tries to get it right. Next, line up your brown clay and then cut out the shape of the seat so that it fits. And then attach the two pieces together. Next, cut the little acorn hat out of the brown clay as well. And attach it to the top of the chair and then cut out four strips of yellow clay like this. Cut them down to the size that you need. Roll them gently so that one end is more narrow. And then taking a flatter piece of yellow clay for the seat, cut out this shape, smooth the edges, and attach it onto the chair. Next, make holes in each of the chair legs and insert a little piece of wire to attach it to the chair and then attach them on using TLS. And this is what it looks like. And now you can place all of these pieces on a baking tray, bake the Marty and the chair for the full time on the packet, and bake the table for just 10 minutes so that it's easier to work with. Now taking a small disc of brown clay, use a needle tool to start scalloping the edges. And here I'm using a color shaper to make the scalloped edges smoother. And then place this piece on top of the partially baked table and smooth it down. Now we're gonna make the stand for Marty. So cut a circle out of a thick piece of scrap clay and then roll out green clay into a thin layer and cut out two circles, one a bit bigger than the other. Use these circles to envelope the scrap clay and then smooth down the edges. And then you can press the figure into the clay so that it stands. Now you can bake the base and the table for the full length of the package instructions. And this is what it looks like. Using light pink chalk pastel, I'm brushing on the cheeks. Now using a brown pencil, I'm just drawing on some of the details. And then using some white paint, I'm painting on the mouth. And yellow paint for the t-shirt. Then using some light brown paint, I'm painting on the hair. And this is what it looks like. 
I wanted to make the t-shirt just a little lighter, so I used a lighter yellow over top. Now using some black mixed with brown paint, I'm going to paint on the eyes. And using an apricot color for the nose. Now using a very pastel yellow, I'm painting on the pom-pom pur and on the t-shirt. Then using brown paint, drawing the outline and the details. And it looks like this. Now for the base, I drew in a bunch of triangles. And I'm going to fill them in with different shades of green and yellow. And then you can place your Marty on the stand. I wasn't happy with the way I did the eyes, so I removed them and redid them using a slightly lighter brown paint. And now for the chair details, I'm just using a pencil to draw them on and then going over with dark brown paint. And it looks like this. And then doing the same thing for the table. And that's what they look like. We're almost done, just got a glaze. So I'm using matte varnish. And just painting it on with a fluffy brush in multiple layers. Once again, everything looks glossy, but dries down completely matte. And this is Marty all done. And the back. And this is the Pom Pom Purin chair. And the Pom Pom Purin table. Thank you so much for watching and thank you also for the kind comments left on my last video. I really didn't expect such a warm welcome back after being gone for so long, but you guys made me feel so welcome and I'm really encouraged to make more videos. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!